So yeah, I don't know. I'll really love to get to know us, right? Um seeing some new names here. So apart from yeah, I know Theta. So um I don't know who wants to go first. So I just said my name is Kingsley. I am the design maintainer at KS Africa. So um who's going next? So just say hi, tell us about yourself and what you do. And um, maybe why you can't care. <laughs> so, who's next? Is it okay if I go? Yeah, that's a, that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, my name is Omunaku Endurance. I am. I'm a registered nurse and a registered mean, midwife in Nigeria. Uh, I recently got into graphics design a uh, little late last year. So um, I took on the role as editorial chief for uh the nonsa body that's the Nigerian University Students Association for Nursing uh Uniport. So in that role I I usually um work with a team. We create content based on health awareness campaigns or student life or basically anything that can bridge the gap between tech, healthcare or even personal pieces too. So we created designs for um health awareness campaigns. Um and we also created content as well, like editorial content for um improving awareness on certain health issues. Um I joined Chaos uh from a friend. I got a friend, I got a recommendation from a friend. Uh she said she was actually introducing me to this open source. Um, scene which I'm not really familiar with so she recommended chaos and then I joined the slack I haven't actually been active there because of professional exams that I'm writing which um, I'm supposed to write one soon um, which will make me a registered public health nurse as well um, this is the first time attending a meeting my friend said that there was a movement on the Hacktoberfest scene. So she wanted me to just join the meeting for chaos and find out what's going on. So that's basically why I'm here. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, India, and welcome. Um, that's pretty cool. We're so happy to have you join us. And um I believe we'll get to know each other much better in time. So um over to the next person, Faithful. Um, okay. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Chanji Faithful. I'm from Cameroon. Um, I'm a recent graduate. I did a computer science degree um, at the University of Bamenda in Cameroon. So um, I specialize in um, product design and graphic design too, specialize in that. Um, I've been doing product design for well over two years now. And yeah, with graphic design too. So um, I saw, I think Sir Kingsley posted on Twitter that he needed, um, that there was an opening for graphic designers for the Chaos Project. And I've been following up with um, the program through Ruth Ikega, I think she posted something about that a while ago. So I'd be following up with it. So when he posted about the opening, I thought, oh wow, that would be a great opportunity for me to contribute to open source, right? Because I before you know that open source is just directly about you know coding and all the like, but it extends just beyond just code and just being able to contribute your direct skill set to the open source community i believe is it's important so presently i volunteer with um some local organizations like um the google developers groups here in my community 
Um, I'm a co-organizer and I also do graphic design with them. Then there are a number of also local um, challenges that I also um, local um, tech competitions and hackathons that I also um, volunteer with them. So yeah, that's basically me. Okay, thank you so much, Faithful. Yeah, welcome. Hi, it's Cameron. I hope. Um, uh, condolences, please. I heard uh, Cameroonians recently lost their president, Paul Pierre Cameroon. Um, we're so happy to have you on a call. Um, so, like I said, we we'll just get to know each other much better. Stick around long enough, and I hope I hope you do. Um, so next person is um goodness Richard. Goodness Richard. So Hi. I don't know. Yeah, can you tell us about uh, yourself? Morning. Yeah. Morning. Okay. Just about myself. Because I I think I joined late, so I didn't really hear what we were supposed to talk about. Um okay. So uh, is this basically your name, what you do, and um who invited you to chaos or how did you hear about chaos? All right, so Okay, my name is Onyechi, goodness, Richard. I prefer being called Onyechi. So I am a creative designer. I do graphics, motion, web design, basically do like almost all kind of designs. And I was introduced to Chaos by Harmony. So I am trying to kind of understand what open source is all about. So he introduced me to chaos and I thought it was a good start for me to like join the design since it was something I do because I also do project management. But since there was an opening in design, he said that might be a great fit for me to join initially. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And um, thank you. Welcome, goodness. It's good to have you. Thumbs up to Harmony. For introducing you. Um sorry, sorry, I prefer being called Onyechi, not goodness. Okay, Onyechi, please. I'm sorry about that. Um Olamide, over to you. Good morning, everyone. Um Olamide. I'm a designer and I do code once in a while. So um I saw about um Carlos Africa on Twitter from Kingsley and I felt okay that's my no code skill and while still developing my code skill I should just use the one I have in use and I'm here now. Wow yeah thank you so much I'm happy to have you um why I'm all smiles is because um one of our most advanced uh Contributor Lami, Lami D, Lami for short. Yeah, she, um, she hasn't been out for a little while because she traveled, but she's just been one of like one of our favorite contributors and like a pack of different skills. And I'm not also surprised that you have you know um a coding skill. So we're so happy to have you. Um, thank you so much for joining in, and um. We have Felix. So Felix is the old guy, one of the old guys there, yeah, but I'm just going to allow him to introduce himself, right? So you guys also get to know Felix. Over to you, Felix. <laughs> Hi, Kisley. Good morning. Uh, good afternoon. Why are you uh, laughing? Oh <laughs> <laughs> the, the old guy is doing his funny. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm Felix. I'm a product designer, and uh, uh like Kinsley mentioned, so I'll be here for for a while, <laughs> not that long, but a while. So um, nice to meet you guys. I've been uh hearing uh Ninechi and uh and Jeremy introduce himself and, and the rest. So yeah, that is all. <laughs> Okay, Felix. Um, uh, let me introduce myself again for those that weren't here when I, you know, did that. 
Okay, so once again, my name is Kingsley, and um, I'm a product designer, a brand identity designer. I do illustrations. I do motions on a good day, and I also do uh, non-code, you know, front-end development with Frema.
Damn. I am so, so sorry. Like, hello? Can anyone hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now. Yeah, okay, we can so hear you. I am so sorry. So sorry. What just happened was with beyond my control. Um, but it's what with the service providers. Yeah. Okay, so um just a quick one, so that doesn't happen again. Um quick one. Um so yeah, so I I was trying to introduce myself. So I am Kingsley, so my role is to just help us on board you know, designers, non-technical contributors, right, to Chaos Project, which, like I mentioned earlier, it's actually, like, a cool project I've been contributing to for, I think, close to three years now, right? And um, as a designer, right, so um, Faith will men mention something. Yeah, a lot of people out there feel, like, Open source is just, you know, for technical contributors that are actually a lot of, you know, um, um, a lot of opportunities in so it's not just technical contributors, non technical contributors play a crucial role in sustainability of this project. Of course, every project needs a designer, a design master, a needs designer, right? And um, and not just designer for those of you that or user reusability thing, right? So this product driven, right? Um, so you also have to separate projects that are just doing some um uh, maybe volunteering work and um. Like you have Shiko Africa in Nigeria, right? What's the name Yeah. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. 
We can hear you all. Yeah, actually. I can hear you. Okay, like, I'm not sure I've experienced this before. Like, it hasn't been this bad before. But <laughs> um, we're just going to get this done uh, one way or the other. So, uh, but Felix, uh, Felix, if this happens, please just, you know, I don't know, you can just kind of, like, step in and help me, you know. So, um, so just a quick one again. Uh, someone is saying, there's someone saying she can't, Um, so yeah, I, I can't please what was the last thing I said? What was I trying to say, please? Okay, so I think I I, I recall. So anybody can contribute to open source, right? So in chaos, we have a couple of projects ongoing, right? But at the moment, I'm I'm also so happy that um, I think for the first time we are having more of um, like generalists, right? We've always had more product designers coming on board. And then I, I know at the moment we need like a lot of help with branding, right? We um um, one of our goals for the last part of this year in chaos, right? In the design working group, um, we have different working group in chaos, right? So in open source community, you call like, you have the product uh, managers working group, you have the design working group, you have the research working group. So just in case you hear me make use of that. So yeah. And so in a design working group, um, well, one of our plans for the last quarter is to work on brand assets, right? To help communicate, you know, like chaos properly, right? And um, we have projects like um, DEI badging. Um, okay, let's not run so fast. I know this whole thing has just sort of like destabilized me. So first, chaos, right? Is community health analytics open source software. That's the full meaning of chaos. Community health analytics open source software. So um. Analytics in the sense that um, we we um, create um, DI metrics to help promote uh, community open source community health, right? Um, I'm sharing the website link so you can see more information about scales, right? right. So um, most of the projects we work on, most of the things we do um, is targeted towards driving DI, that's diversity, equity, and inclusion right Dri driving dei um creative right and um we have ogo right and we have a couple of other projects right um maybe maybe some other time we're probably gonna delve deep into to maybe talking about some of this project. Um, but for today, right, um, I think uh, it's just really about introducing chaos. And then um, for some of us that, you know, you know, are available to jump on like some brand project or branding, right? Maybe I'll just do a little talk around maybe some of the things we're looking at accomplishing and how you can also help. And then if we have questions, right, even as of this moment, if we have questions, um, I am also available here to answer them. And then you can also share your questions on Slack, general questions on our general channel. And um, yeah, so, so I don't know, does anyone have any questions so far yet um, before I continue? Um, okay, so if there's a question, so I can just continue, All right? So, yeah, so like I said, welcome, Makli. Um, so, um, like I said, chaos is best at in, you know, like everything we do is to drive DEI sustainability, um, in open source community. So, and that sort of like transcends um 
like chaos itself as a community, right? So what we do, it's not really about us as a community, but by extension, what we do really gets to impact, you know, um, other communities. I did mention about the chaos badging, the DI initiative. This is a website, right? So one of the things, uh, one of the stuff badging project does, right, is to drive diversity, right? I'm an open source project. So in simple terms, um, so let's say we have chaos, the badging initiative has event badging, has project badging. So for the event badging, um, let's just in simple terms, right? Let's just say you're organizing an event and stuff and um, an open source event as it might be. And um, and um, you you can apply for Chaos DI event badging, event badge rather. And, um, um, and the way to do that is just supplying your information about your event and all that. And we have reviewers in the community that, you know, go through uh, this information you've submitted. And at the end of the day, you're being assigned a badge based on how inclusive, inclusive your event is, right? Um, I once attended um, an event, uh, an open source event in Lagos, right? And um, I know one of the feedback at the end of the event was that some, um, uh, I we had, okay, so there were breakout sessions, right, in the event. And then some of the breakout sessions happened. Um, we I, we used this story building or this big hole. We had other breakout sessions were up, upstairs and um some of the persons at the event were physically challenged um and um and couldn't you know and couldn't make it to some of those breakout sessions now these these because i i was somehow among the organizers and this is some of the feedback uh, feedback we got at the end of the event and that wasn't really a good one that's just showing that that event wasn't inclusive enough all right so so these issues and several others are some of the things, you know, this initiative by Kito or by Chaos rather help um help to address within the community. And then we also have the project badging, which is somewhat like similar but for projects, right? So um I'm not gonna be talking about all of this in detail today, but that's pretty much um the what you need to know about this project right now. But then if you have questions, you can still go ahead and ask. But I'm just gonna be talking about um, um, some of the design stuff, like, because most of the persons here are just new and also yet to contribute. So I'm just gonna share, uh, share some lights on some of the things you can do right, as a designer in open source. So first of all, open source is, um, it's just a community. Just think of it as a community of people coming together to build a solution for the good of everyone, right? And um, uh, building a solution for social good, right? And um, most of the technologies, as we know, like um, I'm pretty sure, like a lot of persons use Android, you know, and all that. Android is open source. Why is it open source? Because you have a lot of people contributing to it and developing that, you know, OS and making it what it is, right? Um, we've also heard of several other, um, uh, Mozilla is open source, right? So, you know, and just a couple of other platforms, right? Um, so GitHub, as we know, right? It's open source. It's actually the model of open source, right? And all that. So a lot of projects out there, right? Driving, you know, um, uh, daily operations, right? Of, you know, big tech companies, right? Most of these projects are open source and people actually giving in their time and resource in this, what it is, right? So open source is just such a beautiful thing. And, um, and, not just that, in, when you bring it to design, because open source just comes from like literally means like the source is open um, in a case where um, let's say you made a meal and then um, you made a meal and then I, I just maybe invited Felix or anyone here to dinner and then uh, Felix ate the meal and enjoyed the meal and all right. Um, can you share the recipe with me? 
right? And you share your recipe with Felix, right? And Felix now at home and just can't wait to just whip up something, right? So that way, um, and when Felix now got home, something funny now happened just to kind of like, uh, you know, some people are also funny. They always want to take glory that belongs to others. I'm not saying, saying Felix is that way, but just imagine that Felix now, you know, is just kind of like boasting, you invited a friend to, you know, like, come on, I am actually preparing dinner and I want you to join me. And then Felix just met the same stuff using your recipe. And maybe because Felix is just someone that enjoys something that is more spicy than you. And now Felix now decides to make his most more spicy, right? So um, that's like Felix just borrowed your recipe and now making modification to that recipe. So basically open source is um, projects that are open source allows you to not just duplicate it, right? It also allows you to make modifications based on the license, right? When it comes to open source, you have different licenses. So based on the licenses that controls right? That project allows you to duplicate, make modifications, right? And reuse it, right? So in this case, the modification Felix made to your open source recipe is that Felix made it more spicy, right? And that's a modification and reusing it, you know, sharing with friends. And his friend can now decide, ah, come on, I love this. And, I'm, you know, I'm actually... Uh, so Felix now still share because maybe Felix now reach out to you like, are you okay? I want to share this recipe with the friend. Like, Go ahead. Now so 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 basically most people have well developed, let's just say APIs, right? And um and then make this the made the API open source, right? Allowing people to reuse it, you know, create different components out of it and stuff. So when you bring it down to design, um, design sort of like views open source differently, right? For programmers, it's kind of like making your code, right? Accessible, right? For design, you can just view it like making your design files accessible, right? Um, most of us here yeah, use um, Figma and um, you're pretty much aware of Figma community, right? And um, then most of the assets created, right? Even when Figma sort of like push out new components, they sort of like create, um, uh, when Figma launches new release, um, they sort of like create components around that release, right? And then just make, make that component accessible to the Figma community. And you just head on to Figma community, save it to your Figma, duplicate the file, Right, and start linking it, it's tweaking it to suit the project you want to do. That's like that's in a way, it's just the concept concept of open source. And you also need to understand that we have a lot of designers at Figma working at Figma that came together to create those components. So just the same way, you also have different design systems, right? On Figma community, where a lot of people come together, create these systems, right? And just make it accessible to everyone, right? People can make edits, right, and reuse these um systems, right? So, um, so game chaos, right? We are actually contributing to chaos project. So contributions could be around just about anything, anything. I really want you to understand that you are a designer does not necessarily mean that you have to design. You must always design. Well, if that's all you want to do, fine. But then you can, you know, um, if you're good with the user research, you can decide to conduct the user research. That's how we also have the research working group. You can decide to con conduct a user research, right, on uh, some of the projects we have, right? You can decide to conduct usability testing on the project we have. And um, um, you can just decide to just, you know, share your ideas, right, to improve the current design, right? And also make suggestions, right? So, um these on a broader scale i feel like will make you more efficient in any community you find yourself beyond chaos right these will make you valuable um so i don't want us to just come in and open source is not really a place i know the issue most designers have is you're coming from a system where oh there's a pm and uh, like i work with a company for example and most of all the tasks i i have to do at work it's listed on Jira. So I have to jump on Jira, you know, 
move stocks around and all that, it's much more organized and refined. We still have stuff like that here in open source. Sometimes we list stocks in GitHub and sometimes we just share it on the Slack channel and stuff. But then like it's more like people giving in their time. So we are not setting a timeline for you. So it's more of a marathon and not a sprint. So people just come in and be like, okay, well, these are available. I think I can jump on this. I think I can work on this. So you just go ahead and work or you just make suggestions to things, right? And then go ahead to work on them, right? So this is just the mindset I want us all to have, right? That way you bring value into the system. And so you're not waiting for Kingsley to assign a tax to you, right? So you just look at the project, okay? First of all, understand what chaos is as a project. It might take a little while, but uh, try to join into on our community calls, right? That happens on Thursdays bi-weekly. The next one is coming up next Thursday. So these community calls also give you the opportunity to know more holistically about chaos, learn more about chaos. Then you can, you know, from there you discover issues you can contribute to, get to network, connect with people, you know, open source is just it's such a beautiful place to be a part of, right? Right, connect with people, they're amazing people. Open source has really impacted my career positively, like ways I cannot, you know, imagine, I never imagined will happen. So this is also to encourage everyone, you know, on a call, be a part of this, be a part of this beautiful community, and I'm sure you're not going to regret it. I hope I didn't sound so spiritual. But I've been saying a whole lot. I don't know if anyone has um questions. Then I think lastly, we'll just be about just talking about the few stuff we have to work on. And then we we'll just call it the day. Okay, it's fine. Um, please. Um, I don't know. Can someone just say hi? So I will know. Maybe I wasn't talking to myself all along. My network has just been so unstable. So, um, I just want to be sure. Hi. Okay, so it means you all heard what I said. Okay, hi. fine. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Um, so, um, like I said, I'm so happy that, um, we have more, we have more designers or generalists joining in, um, not just, um, product designers. So at the moment, right, let me see if I can share my screen. Um, Can you all see my screen? I yeah. Can. Hello. Okay. So, um, yeah. So I think this is the um chaos badging project I talked about. So yeah, um, we have other files, design files, but I think I'm just creating this exclusively for branding, right? And uh, we're gonna collaborate on this, right? And um, we're not just it's not just a one person stuff, right? That's another thing you need to understand. And one of the reasons why we use Figma to do most of our designs is that, you know, it allows people, right? Gives people room. Anybody can join and can collaborate. That's just the beautiful thing about Figma. Um, I think at the end of this call, uh, you all can just uh, share your emails with me on Slack, please. Just email Kingston and Bundy up on Slack, right? And um, so that... I can add you all later to, sorry. I can add you all later to um, this file. Yeah, so now, so for example, we have a couple of like, um, like so we want to, um, what I really want us to do, what I want us to accomplish is, you know, come up with um, a very detailed brand style guide, right? Um, my network is sort of like shitty, like I should have shared a couple of other styles we've actually worked on for the design, still building on that anyways for most of the projects we have, 
Um, but I'm actually looking at creating stuff, right? I don't like just explore some very creative ideas. These are actually some um some of our flyers we did in the past. I, I think I worked on some of this mostly, actually. So, but I really need us to create something sustainable, something reusable, right? So you know, explore some ideas, explore some fonts we can use, you know, over time, how we can play around patterns, you know, fonts, typography, uh, typography, images, right? Um, you know, illustrations, right? You know, creating, have a, a reusable system. For example, you know, we can have maybe just from the components we've created, we now start creating other uh, compound you know, components like flyers, right? Reusable flyers you know, that we can use. For example, our announcement flyer, we can have a specific, you know, design. So anybody that isn't just like a guru, right, can just come on board. Okay, ah, we have partnership with, uh, um, it's, it, you just use that to implement, you know, use the this thing just put some of the logos and all you um the logo or any other information just edit that right so yeah so i think that's basically um um what i want to share today we are already running out of time so this is what i want to share today and um if you have questions you know please you can go ahead and ask so just if it's a general question no this is actually um like um, the rule of conduct, right? So if it's a general question, you know, someone is going to learn from, right? You can drop it on the general channel, right? So um, maybe I can answer it or any other person, right? With the knowledge to that can attend to that and every other person can learn from it. But if you know, oh, this is kind of like a, a personal question, I need help with this, then you can reach out to me. Uh, the whole idea is just to avoid, you know, we have like the big community and then like 10 persons can message you for the same question, asking the same question. So it doesn't just make sense, you know, answering DMs, same questions for 10 people. Yeah. So I think um that's just about it. And um I'm just gonna stop sharing everything about this today is just you know going to go well. <laughs> um yeah, I don't know. Do we have questions, please? Hello? Um, no question from me. Okay. So I don't know, like any comment, anything? Um I, I do so far. Comment. Or maybe is it okay if I go ahead? Yeah, it's fine. It's okay. Go ahead, please, in the end. Okay. Um, thank you. I think I have a better understanding now of because I have been struggling with understanding how open source works in design. And my friend who introduced me to chaos, she's a She's also a nurse, but she's branching into research software engineer. I think we're all just out of the healthcare system. <laughs> okay, but um, I saw how um, software engineering kind of works with open source, but I didn't understand how it worked with design. But I think from your explanation, I have an idea now. And... Um, one reason why I probably haven't joined any of the uh, meetings is because I don't, I am on the design Slack uh, channel, but I don't really see notifications for meetings. So I don't know. Do you have someplace else where you post that? Or is it just like a routine, something that everyone is aware of? Because my friend was the one who gave me the link to this meeting. I didn't see it myself. So... I don't know. Does you have meetings regularly, or is it just do you post the um the projects on the design group and then anyone can access it? Because it's been pretty um I don't know. I haven't seen much updates there. 
So I was just wondering how you operated in sending messages or updates to everyone. That is a question, not a comment. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Um, okay, so uh, is your friend Sumi-san? Um, I don't know. Is it Sumi-san? There was someone that messaged me and I shared the link. Um, what's her name? Again, I'm trying to look. Tosan. Okay. Yes. Yeah, Tosan. Yeah, Tosan. Okay, I did share a link with her and asked her to share that link that you can add the, the stuff to your calendar, your Google calendar directly. But I don't know if she did that. Um, but I think um, I just shared a link to Chaos Calendar on like comments, right, in the comments. So you can check it out, right, and add the design calls. Design calls happens on Wednesdays, right, by like bi-weekly, not every Wednesday, like bi-weekly, um, by 11 to noon, 11 a.m. to noon, West African time, right, because sometimes, like, you notice today we had a um, faithful, uh, you know, Cameroonian joining in, so the time might differ, so just have to take note of that. And um, so, like, this week we have on Thursdays bi-weekly, we do have um case uh community calls, but there are tons of other calls. You can just pick any one, any other one besides design. I know when I first joined, like um like around 20 cents to I, I joined like a couple of these general calls. There's also this global, this general like community, like global calls where you also join in, right? You know, like with the global chaos community and connect with people. So you're not just like stopped in chaos Africa. Most of the people here are Africans, right? So you also like connect with people, just help build your network and stuff. That's basically one of the things open source is gonna offer you. So I really hope we all take advantage of that and grow also our um uh, our connect, right? So check out the chaos calendar and add the meetings to any meeting you want to join, just add it to your calendar. I think that way you also be getting notifications, right? Is that helpful when you Yes, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So finally, I don't know if we have final words. Uh, I am done. So you can share um your emails uh, with me. Then I want you to the file like I mentioned and then um I'm just gonna share a couple of things um and then I'll share a couple of things you know also share and I think once you've been added to the file one other thing you can do is like individually just just consider it like come on a client hired you for a job right and you're supposed to create like a branding for a company. So where do you start? For me, I start exploring, I start creating my mood board, exploring beyond exploring um uh, this thing, Pinterest, you know, like several platforms, just gathering mood board, Instagram, just put things together, put things together. That's just the same way you do. So open source, it's just the same thing you do in open source, like come on. So now that is like we're creating a style, a solid brand style for chaos. So one of the things you can do is exploring, you know, just creating mood boards. So once you add it to the file, you can as well do that, explore. And then maybe we say have a session, like it's one of the calls. Subsequently, one of the calls, we can just go around, go over the mood boards we put together and explore the ideas and even see how to start iterating and creating stuff from there. So that's just the way to go. So, if you are, hi, <laughs> she left. <laughs> okay, um, okay, I think that's just about it. And um, I think any other thing, there should probably be another call coming up. But so much, thank you everyone for joining in. I am so happy to have you all, Olamide, Endurance, McCleave. It's been a while you joined the call, Oyinyechi. Felix, thank you so much for showing up. And um, yeah, I look forward to us doing this next time. And